Hi y'all, this is Beryl at Cajun Cooking TV and tonight we are making some scalloped potatoes. I've made these before but it's been years and years ago so I wanted to try it again using the deluxe cooking blender. So I made a white sauce here. So the three cups of milk and just a little bit of butter and flour to make a little roux is all that's in here right now. It's been running about 45 minutes to an hour, just depends how long it takes to heat up. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to put this all together. All right, so while we've been quarantined or staying at home for three weeks, we have a number of groceries that we have in our pantry and we need to use them up. So a lot of people are trying to figure out what to do with all their uh, pantry items and what can they make. So tonight is really a, um, a vegetarian night. We're having scalloped potatoes. So I took four Idaho baker potatoes that we had available and I'm just picking out items that we have in order to um, make a good dinner. So I slice those up using the simple slicer so they're all uniform slices. I have a whole container, eight ounce container of sour cream. I have um, three cups of milk in here, two tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of flour. So now it's gone through its cycle. It's ready for me to add in whatever other ingredients I want to add in. So I'm gonna put in this container of sour cream for scallop potatoes means sour cream. I'm also going to add in some seasoning. Um, here I have one teaspoon of salt. I have some fresh ground black pepper. And then I also did one teaspoon of this garlic and herb um, seasoning. I just love it. I've been making a uh, potato chip dip with it. So I'm gonna put all that in there. And then I have one more thing. Can you turn around, Mike Stokes? <laughs> don't look. So since we don't have a protein to make for dinner, so I'm going to add this packet of pea protein. That's all that's in this packet, ground up pea protein. It adds no flavor or colors to your food, but it does provide extra 10 grams of protein in our potato dish. And these are enrichables from Pamper Chef, and they are ways to put some protein and vegetables in your meals when you want to kind of get some in there. And these are available um, on subscription or by the box. So while Mike's not looking, I'm going to put this in. That doesn't smell like anything. It's just kind of yellowish like a yellow pea. Put that in there and then I'm going to put the lid back on and mix this up for one minute. Oops. Cancel. There we go. There it goes. So I have my rock crock here. This is a casserole dish. It's two and a half quarts. I sprayed it with some Pam. And so I have my sliced potatoes. I'm just gonna pour some in. Kind of flatten them out. Take off this lid, very hot. This is a glass container, so it's very hot. I'm gonna pour about half of that. Okay, and I'm going to put a layer of cheese. I almost forgot. So we got shredded cheese. <laughs> My 
Mike's telling me to shake it in there. Well, I need to put two layers, dude. You got more than one bag. <laughs> I'm being chintzy with my resources. Be chintzy with everything except the cheese. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Be chintzy with the pea powder. <laughs> You need to be saving up. Don't make me laugh. All right. That, whoop, that is hot. All right. So, Mike Stokes, I'm going to let this bake. I have the oven at 350. So I'm going to bake it uh, covered for 45 minutes and uncovered for 45 minutes because you want it to bake and really get cooked with the cover on and then the second 45 minutes going to be really to brown the top and kind of solidify it as a great casserole so we'll go do that and we'll be back later all right it's been one hour um baking it looks delicious what i want to do to finish it off and um Let's put some more cheese on top so it'll melt. So I got the other cup of cheese. I'm just gonna spread that on here and it'll just melt from the heat. But I also wanna put on, we didn't have a whole lot so I didn't put it in it, but um, I had some chopped green onions left. So I'm just gonna put those on the top. But normally you would probably want to cut these really small and put those you know, in the mixture to cook inside it. So, that is our quick recipe of scalloped potatoes here at Cajun Cooking TV. We were resourceful and used what we had in our pantry. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe and also visit our website at CajunCookingTV.com. Thanks. Good night. Mm -hmm.